Hi people, welcome back to the English lesson today. As you can see on your screen, you are going to study about traditional dances, not only from Indonesia, but also from out of Indonesia. I do hope you can follow well. And while you are watching this, please open your learner's book. We are now in unit eight, lesson two, on pages, uh, one pages 112 and 113. Okay, start, start from uh, Indonesia traditional dances. Maybe some of you know the name of these traditional dances. Okay, picture one. It is a uh, name as Saman Dance. It's from Aceh, Sumatra. Picture two, it's a uh, Piring Dance from West Sumatra, Padang. And the last one is Kecak Dance is from da uh, Bali. So why I chose these three dances because uh, I surely know that you know the name of the dances. What you need to explore more is what do the dancers do with their arms and hands and also their legs including knees. So we will study uh, the movement of the uh, dancers when they perform uh, the traditional dance okay okay so to find out how do the dancers do with their hands legs arms uh, bodies and also knees i'm going to show you the video of the traditional dances so you can see how do the dancers um bend for example, move, for example, also perform this uh, traditional dance. Okay, start from uh, Saman dance. Clap their hands, clap their chest. Okay. So, uh, the dancers also uh, clap their hands Okay, now let's move to um peering dance. Okay, peering dance. Now let's move to Kecak Dance. It is from Bali. First they move their bodies with rhythmically to the left and to the right. Sending the left to the right. And then to the left. Oh, 
Oke. Okay. Oke, okay. to summon dance. Uh, what do or how do the dancers move their bodies when they perform traditional dance of summon dance? So dancers clap their hands, slap their chest, thighs, and the ground, and click also their fingers and sway and twist their bodies and head in time with the shifting rhythm. During dance, they also hold the bottom of plates in palm of their hands, swing the plates widely. In the chuck dance, they lift their hands trembling into the air and move their body to the left and to the right by chanting chaka chaka chaka. That is from Indonesia. Now let's study two traditional dances uh, from out of Indonesia. Start from New Zealand. The name is the Hakka, a Maori Hakka dance. You may take a look uh, the text uh, on in your learner's book on page 112. The Maori Hakka dance is an important part of New Zealand's national identity. In ancient times, it was performed to intimidate and threaten opponents before a war. So basically, or at a long time ago, um, Maori Hakka dance was performed uh, to intimidate and threaten opponents. But today, it is famous all over the world. As you can see, the picture on your screen, it is performed when they uh, do or maybe this is the performance they, they usually do, right? But today it is famous all over the world thanks to the New Zealand rugby team, then All Blacks, the, the All Blacks, the All Blacks who perform the haka before the match begins. So today they will, they usually perform it before the match begins. Okay, maybe you want also to know uh, how do the, how do they move their bodies? It involves the men bending, lifting their knees as they shout at their opening. They pull very strange faces as well as stamping and slapping their eyes. Okay, that is Maori Haka dance. Now let's uh, check again the last traditional dances of Spain. The name is flamenco. The flamenco dance is Spanish in origin. This form of dancing developed over several centuries from Gypsy, Moorish, and Andalusian traditional dancing. It is a serious, passionate dance performed by men and women. Okay. Uh, let's check. How do the dancers uh, move their bodies? Their bodies uh, when they perform flamenco dance. <laughs> traditional dances actually but focus on uh, Maori Haka and also flamenco dance 
Now, from the traditional dances, you will learn also the vocabulary of the U uh, movement. Verbs of movement, which is in uh, use of English. So when you when we say that bend, what do we bend? The dancers bend their arms and their knees. And from the dances, the dances also we learn uh, what part of body that the dancers uh, lift. So the dancer lift their arms, lift their hands, and lift their feet. Pull. This is uh, in Maori haka dance. The dancers pull their faces, strange faces. Or also uh, the dancers pull their arms. Yeah, the dancers stamp their feet, slap face, knees, arms, clapping hands, scarfing arms and hands. So this kind of verbs of movement um, are used to connect to the parts of the body. So when do the also when the dancers bend their arms, their knees, that also will be in a summon dance, right? And you also have studied uh, lifting arms, lifting hands, lifting feet, and pulling faces, and stamping feet, slapping face, knees, arms, clapping hands, curving arms, and hands. Okay, before I hope I hope you still review at home about our topic in lesson two. And we will discuss more the question and also the practice in your book uh, in the next meeting. Thank you, P4. Uh, hopefully you have a good day. See you and bye-bye.